Hey everybody, welcome into this week's version of the Top 5 from Tony Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Krizak, and this week we're going to be counting down the Top 5 Fall King Salmon Casting Spoons. Now at the time of this recording, the salmon are not in by any means around the lakefront in Chicago. Water temperatures are still around that 70 degree mark, and because of that, it's too warm. They can't tolerate it. We need those good west winds to blow, push all that warm water out, bring the cool water in as it recirculates underneath. Plus the full moon phase will really help change things as well. That's coming in, I believe, the end of August, first part of September. So hopefully the weather cooperates, the water temps drop, and the moon brings them in, and we can start throwing spoons. But while we're waiting and getting ready, we want to talk about these spoons. And the clips that you're seeing as we discuss our spoons, by the way, are also from our previous two salmon shows that we have filmed for Tony Spot on Fishing. The links can be seen in the, uh, the video description below. And if you click on those links, you'll be able to watch those two shows in their entirety. But right now, let's talk about casting spoons. The crocodile spoon. Now this is a unique spoon. It's probably the longest one that we are gonna talk about. It's three quarters of an ounce but very long, very much so Im imitates an alewife very nicely, a full-size alewife, has a built-in swivel that comes with it. So we do not need to put a ball-bearing snap swivel on this spoon. We can just tie this one direct. This is the only spoon we are discussing that we can tie direct because of that swivel that is attached to it from the manufacturer. Now this spoon is going to ride a little higher in the water column. It, it tends to rise quite a bit. So a lot of times, if we're seeing a lot of kings up more so in the water column, this is a spoon that I will grab. Now, color-wise on this guy, blue and nickel, of course, in the, in the, when the sun is out. Anytime we're in low light conditions and after dark, they're glow-in-the-dark patterns, of course. The Castmaster spoon. Now, this is kind of a, a unique spoon as well. And the fact that it's not so much a cast-and-retrieve type spoon, it is a jigging spoon. A lot of times, if we're not getting bites on, on any of our regular cast retrieve type spoons, I like to throw the cast master and actually jig it back. It has a great flutter to it as it falls. Now again, with this spoon, as far as this spoon and the rest of the spoons we're going to discuss from here on out, snap swivels are a must. And what's really nice, three quarters of an ounce, we can jig it. We can straight retrieve it too. It will have a wobble to it either straight retrieve with pauses so that spoon is fluttering a lot or actually a full jigging motion. Really good when the kings are lower in the water column. Also very good for the browns as well if you guys want to catch browns. We do very well with them for the, the cohos too in the spring but just for the salmon when those kings are down and they're hugging the bottom that's where I really like jigging a cast master spoon. Straight nickel, blue nickel and their gold patterns as well. We've done very well on those color patterns in the Castmaster. The little Cleo spoon. Now here's one that's kind of a mix between the wobbler that we're gonna discuss in a little bit and the moonshine, whatever you, both same style. It's kind of a cross between that and the crocodile. Not as much wobble to it as a Kale wobbler, which we'll discuss momentarily. Not as much lift as we would get from a true crocodile. It's kind of that perfect balance of it three quarters of an ounce as well. Really good spoon uh, when you want a little more flash. And again, there's times that kale, we can't get them to react, it'll have a little more vibration to it. The Clio will actually have a little more flash to it than the thump, and you'd be surprised how many times that'll trigger reactions from the kings. Blue nickel, green nickel, and of course they do a couple different glow in the dark patterns, blue glow, green glow, and orange dot glow. Those are superb colors in the Little Cleo. Again, all three quarters of an ounce. The Moonshine Spoon. Now this thing glows brighter than any other spoon on the market. All their glow in the dark patterns are phenomenal. These things, you could, I swear to God, you could see them from outer space. It is unreal, the glow that these things have. Um, it is not uncommon for us to hit these things with the flash and you can almost fish them for a half hour straight before we really need to hit them again. They hold their charge very well. They are super bright. Even if Lake Michigan is churned up a little bit and there's dirty water, you can still see this thing. It almost has an aura about them. 
Um, if you want something bright and gaudy overnight, the Moonshine Spoon and the three quarter ounce casting is the spoon for you. They have a variety of colors. All of their glow in the dark patterns are phenomenal for this application. The Kale Wobbler. I'll tell you what, I've caught more kings on a Kale Wobbler than any other spoon on the market today. What's nice is it has a little metal flapper to it. And that metal flapper, actually, on the, it's on the split ring that's near the treble hook. So you get a little bit of a click and a clack as that thing's coming through the water. Good vibration on that spoon. Has a real nice wide wobble to it, a little bit of thump to it. You got some flash to it. To me, I don't think there's a better casting spoon on the market. Of all the years, fish and salmon, this has been always my go-to spoon. Three quarters of an ounce. Blue and nickel and green and nickel in the sunshine. And at night, they have a glow in the dark pattern, blue glow, and they also do a green glow. And those two are phenomenal at night as well. So, what are your guys' thoughts? Did we leave out a spoon that uh, perhaps you guys are throwing that we're not talking about? You know, we'd love to hear about it. Tell us in the comments below exactly what you're throwing spoon-wise for these salmonoids. And of course, man, I'll tell you what, the countdown is on. Fall Salmon Run 2017, it is going to be awesome. Make sure you're running medium heavy type rods with these spoons, at least a 12 pound monofilament. Some guys prefer braid. I've actually learned to embrace the shock absorbance of the mono on these baits. And believe it or not, when Lake Michigan gets super clear, the braid can sometimes hinder you. I've been outfished by guys running pure mono or even fluorocarbon. So three quarters of an ounce spoons in all the sizes we've talked about snap swivels on all the spoons with the exception of that crocodile spoon because that one has a built-in swivel we can tie direct and i'll tell you what vary it up different levels of the water column different countdowns per cast remember how far you counted it down the speed you were retrieving when you had your bump or you caught a king and repeat it always be very paying very close attention to how you're doing it but once again that's going to be about all the time we have for the top five this week. Let us know what you think of our top five and let us know if there's some spoons we missed that you think should have made it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Krizak and we'll see you back here on Tony's Spot on Fishing.